Hello, fellow pilgrims, and welcome to Let's Play Salem, Part 1. First of all, I'd like to apologize for not making any videos recently. Usually there's a lot of background noise in my house. However, right now it's silent, except for me, and I finally have the opportunity to make a video for you guys. Now, let's get started. As you can see, I've already make, made a basic character, and so far I've, pretty, I've leveled him up pretty decently. He has a lot of the basic skills you need to make a settlement, and I will be using him for all the other Let's Plays so that I can skip all the repetitive first part of the game, which is mostly walking around and gathering things, which really isn't that exciting unless you like that type of stuff, but I don't, so I'm just going to skip that. However, this let's in this Let's Play, I'm going to make a new character and show you just a bit of gathering and other things that are in the beginning of the game, just so you can get the full experience of this Let's Play. So, let's get started. First, we press the New Character button. And as you can see, we start with a gray blob, which is our character. It says, speak to the man in the brown house, so that's what we're going to do. As you can see, he's right there. Just right-click on him, and you go up to him, and he gives you a gender and a person. So now we need to learn the skill childish things. That's what the new tutorial says. So we go into, first of all, we can go into studying by clicking this tab, or we can press Control t it's a lot easier to press Control t because it's quicker, and I myself found that I've used these hotkeys a lot more as I got into the game. So, anyways, first thing we need to do is click on Childish Things, and as you can see, it fills up our, our perennial philosophy is filled up to 300. The perennial, perennial philosophy on Childish Things is 300 as well. That's the requirement to purchase this skill. So when we press Buy, it purchases it purchases the skill and the perennial philosophy gets reset to zero. Now, now that we have childish things, we can now talk to this guy, which will give us who will give us a name. So I guess I'll just name my guy Char oh I know. Flash Gordon. Just some random name. But it's now it says board the ship, but before we do that we're going to have to get some clothes, obviously. So right click this chest and we come up with the yell chest which is just a form of container which holds our starting items which are priestly robes pur puritan's hat brown pants and adventurer's boots so we're going to pull up the inventory which is right here and we're going to pull up the equipment tab now just separate this out a bit now we can bring the priestly robes over into the inventory by clicking it and then bring it, dragging it over, or we can do something that's really handy and a lot quicker. Just press shift and then click, and then they instantly teleport to your inventory, which is a lot quicker and what's, it's what I'm going to be using for the entire Let's Play. So Now, to equip the clothes, you just simply can either shift click like before, or you can drag it onto your av avatar, a lot like the inventory. So now, we have our clothes on. We can go over to this guy, and he will change our hairstyle. Now, before I use this hairstyle, but I want to try another one, so we can just use this. I like that. Big puffy hair. And also, you can go over to this mirror, right clicking of course, and change your beard options. Now, I think that for this let's play, or this short part of the let's play, I'm just gonna go with the great big mustache, because that looks just awesome. Now, we have our ridiculous looking character, and we're going to finally, oh wait, before we board the ship, this tub right here will allow you to change the color of your hair, so we can do that as well. I'm going to choose red because redhead, I don't know, just all this is really random, so I guess we'll just go through with it and go on to the ship. So simply just right click on the ship and you go to Boston, which should load in a second. As you can see, we're now in Boston and there are a few other characters that hang around, usually in Boston for the, a short time, or there's a lot of people who hang around in Boston and sell things here. but. It says walk away from Boston, so that's just what we're going to do. 
now. Let me just walk away. So, we're walking away from Boston. You can't see Boston anymore. Once we leave the city limits, it should say, it should say, leaving Boston. But I don't know how large the city limits are, but we'll see. Okay, now that we've left Boston, not officially, we haven't left the city limits, but we have gotten far enough for the quest thing or tutorial to be satisfied, it says find inspirationals. Now, inspirationals are things that will boost your proficiencies to a certain level, and when you need proficiencies to both level up the proficiency so you can have more of a certain skill limit in that proficiency. So for example, if I wanted to level up Lawn Lore, I would have to fill up this bar totally and then click it, and then it would go to level 6, and then I could hold 600 Lawn Lore, which is needed to buy things like survival skills. Survival skills, as you can see, it requires 200 Frontier and Wilderness and 200 Hunting and Gathering. So to get that, we need to find an inspirational to fill this up to 200 and this up to 200. So, the most common inspirational that you can find at the beginning, or at least the most useful, would probably be a round stone, or is it smooth? Yeah, it's smooth stone. Now, smooth stones are quite common, and once I, I'm, we're going to be looking for one, and once I find one, I will tell you. Well, I'm back, and I have found a smooth stone, as you can see by this minimap, which is part of the Ender Client. Or, you do have a default minimap, but it's usually here. The Ender Client does have a custom minimap where you can resize it and drag it around. And the dots on the minimap are also part of the Ender Client. So, it, we can zoom in as well. As you can see by this purple dot, it says GFX, Tarot, BGA, BJS, Herbs, and Smooth Stone. So smooth stone is what it means, and we have found one. It is, as you can see, just a little whitish, silverish blob on the ground, but this purple dot is part of the Ender's Client, and it t tells us that it is smooth stone. So we can either, well, in the Ender Client, you can right-click smooth stone and press pick, or you can customly, customly pick up the smooth stone by right-clicking it itself and pressing pick. Now, I better explain what the Ender Client is. The Ender Client is a custom client that you can download on the forms, which will allow you to have a ton of awesome features, like full s or full screens already in the game, but um, custom mini maps. There's hot bars, which I'm not using right now, but I will be, and just a ton of items. And whoa, look at that! As you can see, I just walked a tiny bit, and the little purple dot also showed up again, and that's another smooth stone. So we can right click the smooth stone on the mini map and go press pick. As you can see, it's a lot easier to forage with the Ender Client than it is with the default minimap because you can see all the items on the screen. Like this black dot's a cricket, this green dot's a blackberry, which is a type of food, and this yellow dot's granite, autumn grass is the white dot, and there's even a deer. So you can see there's a, just a ton of features with Ender's Client, and it's just very useful to have, so I suggest strongly that you use the Ender's Client. Anyway, so we're going to open the inventory, and as you can see, we have two smooth stones because we picked them up, and we're going to open the study tab. Now, if we hover over the smooth stone, we can see that there are several different bars that are lightly colored a light red. These are what the smooth stone will fill up if we study it. So if we study the smooth stone, then Frontier and Wilderness will be filled up to 440. Hunting and Gathering will be filled up to 290. Mines and Mountains will be filled up to 375, and Natural Philosophy will be filled up to 220. Oh, also, Arts and Craft will be 340. So, as you can see, this goes well past the red bar, which is what we need to buy survival skills. So, we just need to use study one smooth stone to... just need to study one smooth stone to buy survival skills. So, right-click the smooth stone in your inventory and press Study. And as you can see, the bars will slowly start to fill up, and once they go past the red line, we can buy survival skills. So while we wait for that to happen, let me explain inspirationals a bit more. Inspirationals, you, there are things that you can forage or craft. Um, mostly, or a lot of the times, you'll need things to for, you'll need to forage for things to craft inspirationals. Sometimes you'll get them randomly from crafting things, but all of them provide a certain amount of a proficiency. 
and you'll need different proficiencies for different skills. So, studying in an inspirational will cost black bile, which is one of your four humors. Before I continue, let me explain your four humors. Four, you have four humors, blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile. Blood regulates your health. Phlegm regulates your ability to craft things and how much you can do before having to eat. Yellow bile regulates how much you can fight in combat. And black bile is how much you can study. So, right now, as you can see, black bile is slowly draining. It's at 4.0 now, and that's because we are studying the smooth stone, as you can see by the filling up bars. So, as it fills up, our food, or our black bile, slowly degenerates. And to fill this up, we need to eat. And to eat, we need to get food, which can be made through agriculture, or... Oops. Which can be made through agriculture or we can gather something and eat it. So right here, as I came across on the minimap, is a blackberry, and it's on right here, so we're gonna press right right click, oops, let me get this, and press pick. And so, now if we open our inventory, we have a, or huckleberry, sorry, I thought it was a blackberry, it's actually huckleberries. So, huckleberries, it's a type of food, and you can eat this food, and it will fill up some of your humors, but as you can see, this only, as you can see by the heels thing on the pop-up hover thing that pops up when you hover over the uh, huckleberries, if you look at heels, it says 2.5, 1.5, 0.0, .0 and 0, 0.0. This is how much of your four humors it heals. It heals 2.5 blood, and I believe that's 1.5 phlegm. So, it doesn't heal any black bile, so we're not going to eat that, because it would be a waste of food. So let's go look for something, like, that would be useful. There's a lavender bluet over there, so we're going to go click on the mini-map and go find that. And as you can see, it's a type of mushroom. So we can eat this as well, I believe. Yes, we can eat this, and as you can see by the... By the glowing yellow on your humors when you hover over it, that's how much it will fill up once you eat it. So we can go ahead and eat this, and now it will slowly start to regenerate our black bile, because that's what we used. You can upgrade your four humors by filling up completely your, your four humors, and then clicking on this icon, and you will go into gluttony mode. Now, when you go into gluttony mode, you can press tab, you can press, uh, you can go into your inventory and basically eat different foods as much as you want, and if you extend, if this little icon, it will turn into a small little dot in the center in gluttony mode, and if you can extend it to one of the four corners, then you will upgrade that humor. So, usually you want to have a lot of food in your inventory when you go into gluttony mode, so you can use, or so you can level up as much as possible. And so... I'm not sure if I will be showing Gluttony right now, maybe pro probably in a later Let's Play, but that's how you can level up your four humors. Now, for some time we've had our proficiencies have completely been filled, or the smooth stone has been completely studied, and now we have enough to buy survival skills. So, when I go down and press buy, something interesting happens. All of the proficiencies go back down to zero. So, you this is a definite necessity to know how to balance different uh, different study skills and or sorry uh, it's definitely a necessity to know how to balance inspirationals and what to study with your proficiencies otherwise you might end up wasting a really good proficiency for a cheaper skill so now you can see we have access to different skills which all require different different amount uh, amounts of proficiency so now that you know the basics or that's pretty much all the basics of so far, and I might ma might make another video on with the basic beginning foraging things, or I may go straight into my higher level character and show you some more interesting stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, and see you next time.